Look at this. Look at this. Look at all these belts. Look. You've got too many belts now, Denzel. How greedy. <laughs> You are the greediest middleweight in the world right now. How are you feeling? I feel good, man. I feel amazing, man. Um, I was telling you in the build-up, Brad's a tough guy. I work and knock him out of one punch. I was trying to make him quick, but I think I planted that seed in his mind and he kind of fought against that. When I saw him take the knee, I thought, this is it. I got him, but he got back up and credit to him, man, because he fought on. What, what, what a guy. There's clearly the respect there, but it, it looked like it was kind of um, back and forth early doors and then you just rampaged away with it for the last few rounds. Is that how you saw it? I'm a championship fighter. I think I won. I think I, I gave him... Six and eight, I gave him, I got a bollock in the corner for it and um, I, had to, I had to kind of fix up. But I thought early, he was, he was throwing good shots, but I thought I was doing a better work, especially with my jab. Heavy handed, heavy handed for real, I'll be honest, he is heavy handed, but I'm heavy handed, so I'm alright. <laughs> what, what did you think when he went down though? It, 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 it was sort of blinking like something had happened yeah. to his eye. I, it was a jab, the jab was just pinging him in the eye. I couldn't really find the right hand if I'm being honest, but the jab was just pinging off. I just sticked it out, don't rush it, try and find the right hand where you can. And I was just, you know, just hitting him with a jab consistently. I saw his eye going from early, but I hadn't really fully swelling up, so I thought, just keep attacking the eye. And when I saw him blink, and I thought, this is it, he's, 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 he's going to jack it soon. But like I said, he's a tough guy, man. He weren't trying to give up, and he was fighting for it, because, you know, this was his belt, um, essentially, but, and the European was on the line. And he showed his heart, he showed his worth, and I think he is a, he's a good level fighter. Listen, he'll definitely be back in, and you're, you're, you're good, to, good to say that and say that on camera. Yeah. Uh, three times. Three times? When was that something that happened? I know. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sure how often this this sort of stuff happens. I, I can't remember. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, won it three times. Defended it successfully twice. Yeah. That's five successful British title wins, two losses. But yeah. I mean, not a bad shot. And the European champion now, and WBO international champion, and WBA continental champion, soon to be world champion. So. We're happy. Oh, let's talk about that because you are number one with the WBO. Yeah. You just beat the guy who's number two. Yeah. Frank Warren made it very clear in the build-up. The yeah. winner gets the world title shot. Well, yeah. you were the winner, Denzel. Yeah, finally, man. I like to be active. I mean, I was number one. I could have sat and wait, sat and waited, but I didn't want to do that. I like to be active. Brad gave me an opportunity to fight for the British. The European was on the line. I'm happy with that, and I thank him for that. So, thank Frank as well for keeping me active three times this year. I got no complaints, man. Good end to the year. Go home with the family, enjoy Christmas, um, enjoy my belts and. Go for the big one next year. There is a world middleweight champion out there, a unified world middleweight champion, who says nobody will fight him. He's tweeting, or someone's tweeting from his account all the time, saying, no one wants to fight me. They're all fighting each other. Do you want to fight Janabek again? 100%, I've said that, and I've proved it, because I've stayed at the WO, made my rankings, made my way up through the WO to fight the WO champion again. But I told you guys, when I get there this time, it will be earned. It won't just be an opportunity where someone's giving me a shot. I'm going to earn it. I'm going to prove myself. I'm going to get there, and it's going to be a real you know, compared to fight, people are going to know that I was a mandatory challenger, not just a voluntary. What's different about you now compared to the, the guy that took him on a couple of years back? Experience, the most important thing, experience. Um, I, lacked, I lacked a lot of experience before, um, going in there, you know, as, as a British champion, but now I've been there to that level, come back down, won a few times, lost, won again, and, you know, I wasn't someone with an extensive amateur career. I was amateur three years, turned pro, I've been a pro seven years now, and the more I box, the better I get. I feel like I'm improving every single time. I'm getting more comfortable and getting more confident, um, using all my attributes better and learning when to use them. So it's a different Denzel. Rather, that, that Denzel, that foot in the back was just pure heart, pure grit, pure toughness, pure, you know, just fit. Let's go to work. Let's, let's, let's grind. This time, it was a lot of heart. But this time, a lot of experience and heart and skill. So, yeah. It was like there's a bit more calculation about you, just like in your yeah. life as well. I know things have changed. You've got a kid now. Things like this help you grow as a man. Do you feel like the best Denzel Bentley ever. It's yet to come. It's coming. It's coming. I feel. I feel good in myself. I feel good in there tonight. I done twelve rounds. I won't. I won't really blend. I was able to take my time, come again, use my shots, figure out what I needed to do. Hurt him a few times. I kind of rushed trying to finish him a couple of times. Should have took my time a bit more, but I didn't want to let him back in the fight. But um, yeah, man. I feel like I'm progressing. I feel like I'm getting better, man. Every time. What sort of message did you send out to the middleweight division tonight, Denzel? What do you think? Um, I don't know. I think a lot of people expect me to knock him out, but I said to you, I'm not knocking out one punch. I'm going to try and make it. I'm going to grind it out quick. I'm good at assessing fighters. I've been in there before I've seen them fight. I know how tough he is. Um, but I just think I've, I showed I'm a, I'm a real contender in this division. So one, one final one. It's something that I've been wondering. You've just beaten the guy that has a win over you in, in, in Nathan Heaney. You yeah, beat the yeah. guy that beat the guy who beat, beat you. Uh, yeah. it, has that kind of exercised any kind of demons there? No, not really. I mean, the demons, were, there, there was no real demons. I mean, was, that was gone after the Dignam fight because I came... Has it erased it, though? I don't know. That's up to you guys. I don't know. From my mind, it is what it is. I mean, 
I only remember I lost him when I go on box trick, you know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> yeah. a lot going on in my life, but that's up to you lot to decide. That's for the fans and I can't do that, but I said I was going to sweep up the division. I think yeah. that's whipped it up, man, joking. <laughs> Listen, yeah. Give those belts a little kiss. Go on, just for the camera, show them. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. Thank you, Dev. Well done, mate. Appreciate well done. it.